Hey, welcome back, y'all. So, this might be the intro you see, it might not be. I'm trying to figure out how to screen record. I might end up making another intro. But, nevertheless, I am about to hook up my two-step. And, I just want to make a little video on how to do it with the Holly Terminator X. And, how simple it is. So, I'm going to show you how to set it up in the software, and then I'll show you how to wire it up. It's actually really easy. So you go under spark here and you look for rev limiters right there boom click on rev limiters and I have mine set to six grand and rev limiter number one you hit enable spark high only so it cuts your ignition spark and what RPM do you want it at? I'm gonna set it to like 3,000 maybe, 25, let's do 25 at first just to see how that is and we might bump it up to, th uh, to 3,000. I gotta figure out where I want to launch from. Okay, 2,500 RPM. And then I'm going to go to inputs, I believe. Okay, rev limiter, ground, you can have it set up for 12 volt or ground which I want ground and then I'm gonna go over here to my pin map and you can see rev limiters is now right there if you uh, uncheck the box it won't be there so this is gonna be connector J1 this is the my open inputs so I could do it on A12, A3, A13, A4 really doesn't matter uh, let's see, input type, um, high ground, it, so we got ground, so we can just drag it wherever. So this is going to be on your loose wire uh, input-output connector harness deal. So, uh, let's see, let's just drag it to A3. And, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure all of those are open, but I can look and see okay so those are inputs okay my output that's my electric fan that's my only output so inputs so we can leave it there it really doesn't matter you can put it on any which one you want and that's it as far as what you have to do in the software and we can hit done and then I just go up here to save boom and it's saved and then we go on to wiring it up in the car, which is really easy. So I have it set up to a ground, so I take that input, and it's looking for a ground signal. So basically, you just hook your little button up to the body, or to a ground, wherever. And once you hit the button, and it com connects the ground, then it'll en enable the uh, rev limit number one, is what they call it. Or you can call it two-step, is what everybody likes to call it. So, pretty simple, so let's get to wiring this thing up in the car. Okay, so I'm in the car, I've got my input-output harness, and I don't know if you can see in there, but it's got the little, eh, let's get the light. It's got that uh, little black connector plug with all the white wires with the colors, white and gray wires with the colors coming out of it. So, your input wires are going to be the white wires, your output wires are the gray wires. So, I already found pin A3 input wire, which is the white wire with the red stripe. I don't know if it's going to focus, but take my word for it, it is the white wire with the red stripe. What I did was I put a little connector terminal deal on there and heat shrunk it. I'm going to use this really tiny momentary switch, and I'm probably going to drill a hole and put it like right here so I can just put my thumb on it and then get my hand back on the shifter real quick when it's time to launch so one side goes to that side of the switch and the other side goes to a ground which I conveniently got a bolt right here and I've got another piece of wire that I already connected a little terminal to and that's gonna go on the other side of the switch to the ground I actually uh, started up a second ago and tested it out and just put the wire on the bolt and ground it out and it works. It scared me at first because the AFRs were going lean, but apparently that makes sense and that's normal. So it's actually really simple. That's how you wire it up. And I'm going to go ahead and install this really fast. And then I'll come back with an update in a second and show you how it works. Okay, so we got it wired up right here. It's probably going to be a temporary deal because it's not the best spot for the wires to come out. Even though it's a good spot for me to, you know, just 
have my thumb on it right here like while I'm waiting to launch and then well obviously once I pop the clutch and get my hand back on the shifter real quick and the shift so let's test it out real quick and I'll let you get a little sound clip outside of what it sounds like Cool, it backfires. Sweet. <laughs> well, that's cool. Obviously, uh, I guess we're going to have to mess with the fueling a little bit if we want really big backfires, but that works pretty well. So, I mean, the tune that's in it is just, you know, the timing I put in and whatever the Holly's figured out. So, I'm sure you can get a lot better backfires than that with, you know, a little more fuel added. But that's pretty cool. That works. So, I'm just going to have to do a little research and see where to go from there. But that's how you hook up the two-step on a Holly Terminator X. And I guess that's going to be all for this one. But like always, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all subscribing. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Later, y'all.